I'm Charles, and I'm on a mission to find what's inside everything. To help me get my answers, I have an industrial CT scan. It takes a whole bunch of x-ray images from all around a subject, and then builds a 3D model, revealing every internal detail. Today, we're looking inside of Riley's classic hacksmith build, the Taser Potato. This is a 3D printed case with electronics inside, so it should be a pretty easy scan. We'll just set it on a block and let it cook for a bit. I wasn't around when this thing was built, but looking back at the old videos, it seems like there's a high voltage source that will energize some of these external pegs after a random time delay. Turn it on, play hot potato, and you'll know when somebody loses, on account of the convulsions. So let's have a look inside and see what sort of madness was stuffed in there in 2018. This thing scares me. I've had the immense fortune of never actually dealing with it. Does this thing still have a... Oh, it still has a battery charge. Great. <laughs> She's live. Let's dig into this absolute mess. So here, laid bare, is the potato. Quite a bit going on in here, actually. So let's go through and just enumerate what we're seeing and then go back and try to actually explain what it all does. First things first. So we have a battery. We have an Arduino Nano, microcontroller. We have, we have a transformer hooked up to some form of high voltage converter. We have some butt connectors. I don't know what they're doing there. Oh, no, I do know what those are doing there. Those, I think we will find if we zoom the scan out, are gonna be XT30 power connectors. We got one light up power switch, aha. Got a transistor, very important. That's gonna be how we're turning the voltage converter on and off. And I think sandwiched on the Arduino, but not directly attached. Then on top of the Arduino, we have some other circuit board here. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna figure it out. So this extra circuit board here, which you can, you can kind of see the outline of, that that's actually a power converter. What that's doing is it's taking our single lithium ion cell and it's boosting it up to five volts. And the reason I'm saying that with such confidence, you can see these four pins and these two mounting holes. Those are arranged in a way that really looks like it would be a USB type A connector. Well, that would make sense because this would be the circuit board to just make a USB battery bank. You can buy those just off the shelf. And I bet that's what he used. I've actually gone and grabbed Riley, who originally built this thing back in, what was it, 20... 17? 2017. Maybe? 18? Eight years ago. Long time ago. Seven years ago. Because we have the full scan brought up on here, and I... That's... I want to ask you some questions. I don't even remember doing all that. <laughs> okay, like, this isn't an interrogation. You don't need to deny everything. I literally have... I don't remember all that. Officer, I have no recollection of having built this weapon. What do you mean, weapon? It's a game. Okay, so basically it's a 18650 cell right. that goes to a step-up transformer, which I think is that yep, thing that, and there. And then it has some, has some of its guts over here. Uh, yeah, so the, it goes to the step-up transformer, and then from that, it, I think it juices it up to like 15,000 or 20,000 volts. And then basically I just took the positive and the negative of it, and throughout the entire potato, there's all these bolts which are with the heads protruding out, which are your uh, oops, electrical contact. Okay. And I randomly s selected which ones would be positive and which ones would be negative to maximize the odds that your hand would be touching two of them at the same time when you catch the potato, um, hmm. which was very effective. Uh, and then in there, there's also some sort of circuit that tells it when to turn on and off. I think it might be an Arduino. You tucked an Arduino Nano right in here. That is probably correct. Uh, and that basically just says, I, I believe that the interval was within 10 seconds, it will turn on for a random amount of time. So there were, <laughs> like you could get pretty long rounds out of it, throwing the, throwing the potato around where like every time it was in the air, it's in the air for two seconds, say it turns on while it's in the air. By the time you catch it, it hasn't turned on yet. Or sorry, okay. it's already turned off. And then you keep throwing it around. Like eventually somebody gets hit. It lulls you into a false sense of security that like, oh, maybe it doesn't work or maybe it's not that bad. The charging port has actually broken out of the plug. Oh, that's why it doesn't charge. Yeah. I see. Uh, my best explanation for that would be it got thrown 30 feet into the air and then it landed. 
I brought this to like a bunch of parties. Oh. <laughs> like I, I would just bring this around. Like he's like, do you still have that taser potato? And I'm like, you like that? <laughs> what would you do differently if you had to build the potato again? What I would do is I, I would probably do bolts around the center, make all the bolt heads a little bit smaller, increase the number of all of them. Uh, and then just as like a, a villainous little horrifying torture trick, I would put two contactors really, really close together so that they do arc every time it turns on. I think that would have a lot going for it. I think it would. Because then you'd be really scared because you would know that it is on. What's going on with these connectors here? Is that an XT30? Where do those go to? Well, they don't. They're just, there's just a connector sitting here. It's not on the high voltage side, is it? Well, that's my thing, as I'm not actually sure. Oh, it's, also, no, it totally is. <laughs> well, don't, don't judge me for the fact that I was unconcerned uh, with the fact that, like, none of this is rated for high voltage. Yeah, that is high voltage side. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's probably the one oh, that comes off the Right, because you need to plug the two halves together after oh, you've assembled the first that's half. that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not really all that much to it. It's just that every part of it is concerning. Yeah, which is how you know it's a good project. I would say so. So all told, that is the whole adventure. Things powered by a battery, charged through this plug. That plug has broken. That's why the potato no longer works. That battery is switched by this power switch. That power switch, when active, delivers power to a five volt boost converter that powers the microcontroller. The microcontroller starts a random timer and eventually it will turn on and activate this MOSFET right here. When that MOSFET fires, that connects the negative input power terminal of our high voltage power supply to ground of the battery. The positive terminal, however, is always connected because, well, this MOSFET is isolating it via the ground pin. Then it turns on and delivers power to some collection of these pins so that you can shock the bejesus out of your friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like. And if you want to see inside of something, leave a comment with your suggestion. If you want to support the channel, share this video with a friend, or check out hacksmith.store. And if you want to see inside of everything, get subscribed. Yeah, if somebody was like, you know, put a gun to my head and said, like, make me a taser potato or I'll shoot, I'll, I'd probably let him shoot, but this is how I would do it. <laughs>